is Artie, the antisocial dragon. And I've got a very special episode of antisocial justice for you. Every episode is special, but, you know, everyone's special. Even you. And I'm antisocial. But we have a real, real doozy on our hands again today for antisocial justice. A real crapture. It turns out a... A fecal fanatic has caused a fecal frenzy in the city of Toronto. We're going to start the video here. Police have arrested a 23-year-old man tonight charged in a series of sickening crimes. In the last four days, at least five people have been assaulted on university campuses where a man with a bucket drenched them with a foul substance that, well, let's just say, belongs in a toilet. CTV's John Venavalli Rao has a disturbing detail. <laughs> I love how they, they start this story off. And the lady, like, I don't know if she's, like, holding back. I don't know if it's laughter or if she's, like, truly disgusted. But <laughs> it's, she's like, a foul substance that belongs in the toilet. Well, obviously that, that may hint towards you what's going on here, but I've also hinted very well what's going on here. On university campuses across Toronto, the latest attack has had students on high alert. I actually think it's just super dis disgusting and really demeaning yeah. for someone to do that because they'd have to plan something like that. So this girl, this girl says, you know, I, I think it's really disgusting and demeaning for someone to do something like that. Obviously, they'd have to plan something like that. I'm going to tell you right now, that man, I, you'll, you'll see him right away. You'll see him dressed as a construction worker. I don't know if he is a construction worker or not, but I don't know. If you're going to throw your, your own fecus on someone, I don't think it's planned. Like, if I were to throw feces on someone, I wouldn't just go out into the community and be like, oh, yeah, tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. I'm on the prowl. I'm, I'm looking for some some students to throw my own my own fecus on. No way. No way. This guy, there's no planning involved here. This man just happened to have a bucket, and he, he went on a, 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 a rampage. Overnight, emergency crews rushed in. To hose down a sidewalk by the university of <laughs> they're they're Washington hosing away, down they're hosing the down the sidewalk the there's a bucket there's the bucket walking by <laughs> seen here wrapped in a yellow blanket i actually saw the girl that got dumped on and it was uh, yeah it was disgusting police released <laughs> he's dressed like a construction worker a construction hat and carrying a bucket look at that smile look at him look at him look at, look at, look at him smile <laughs> He's, he's so great. He's just so he's so happy with himself. He's like, oh my god. He's like, ha ha ha. You won't believe what I just did. I just poured, I just poured, hot diarrhea on everyone. It all involves suspected. Oh my gosh. But that's that's not even the kicker yet. We're gonna we're gonna get to the best part. This time we don't know the motive uh, behind what's you know why this is being done. Um, we're hoping to get to the bottom of that. The first incident happened Friday at a library at the University of Toronto. The second on Sunday afternoon at a library at York University. And the third took place back near the University of Toronto. I find this kind of behavior inexplicable. You just can't understand why anybody would go around and do this kind of thing. The victims have all been Asian. You, you obviously, obviously the news has to go and put a race angle on this. But then they, they go back and they're like, okay, well, obviously 50% of the, the population of Toronto, I think they say, is uh, Asian, Southeast Asian, that sort of thing. So, you know, the, you, you, throw a, you throw a stick, for example, you're going you're gonna to hit someone of Asian the descent. Some were of Indian descent, while others had a Chinese or Korean background. And in a city that's composed of more than 50% visible minorities. 50 per don't visible minorities, sorry, not 50% Asian, 50% visible yeah, minorities. The, the man who threw the bucket of poop, really the man who threw the bucket of diarrhea of is a visible minority. With at least one bringing an umbrella as protection. If you were to toss the bucket of feces, I would just open this. <laughs> the guy, the guy has an umbrella. Don't worry, man. He's not. I guarantee you he's not targeting specifically Asians. I haven't seen any follow up to this story, like as to the the cops asking the guy why he decided to throw diarrhea on people. But I can guarantee you 
with like maybe like 85% certainty he's not doing this because you're Asian. Probably not. I don't know. <laughs> but he's carrying he's carrying an umbrella. This is like <laughs> this is already like mass hysteria level. People are like at university, going to university, like, okay, son, don't forget your umbrella or even just, you know, people are like, oh, I'm not going to forget my umbrella today because uh, you never know when you could be dumped on, <laughs> literally. And with word late tonight that the suspect is in custody, students are no doubt relieved, no longer having to watch their backs on campus. Sandy. Chance. I can all but guarantee you that that man did not have a plan. He did not go out with the idea that he would commit the act of fecal terrorism, that he would bring down the crapture upon some poor university students. No, I think, you know what, like, cause just, just follow my train of thought here. You know, you need to, first of all, you need to fill the bucket with your own feces. So in order to do that, and it was loose feces apparently too. I don't know if he had to mix it with some of his urine, but we're, we're going with the idea that, you know, it was probably some hot diarrhea. And in order to, have a bucket full of diarrhea, you have to give yourself diarrhea first. So you have to get diarrhea. So if you're going to give yourself diarrhea, you have to find something, obviously that's a diarrhea causing food. Like if you're lactose intolerant, uh, you drink a heck of a lot of milk or just if you're not lactose intolerant, you drink a heck of a lot of milk. Like, ugh, as long as you don't throw it up. But so, so you have to find a way to make yourself have diarrhea. It's, it's much more plausible that this man had diarrhea into a bucket. Like, you know, he just had a, a crap attack and an ass disaster, got down onto a bucket and was like, oh my God, this is horrible. Like, I got to throw this somewhere. And uh, in an effort of getting rid of the evidence, he happened upon some students in a library he, he must have been in the library. Like, he must have been studying or something. Like, the first – you'll see the first image here. He was dressed as a, as a construction man. Like, what was he doing? Does he work as a construction man? Like, maybe there wasn't a porta potty or someone else was in the porta potty. So, you know, maybe that's where he got the bucket. And then, of course, you have the bucket. Then you have to take your bucket, get your bucket. I don't know if this man used public transport, but, like, imagine carrying a bucket – full of your own fecus and and on public transit like obviously that would that would raise some eyebrows how did the bucket make it all the way into the library and no one noticed like no one was like oh gross like what is that smell that's that's my my honest breakdown my honest assessment of this i don't think there was any planning that went into this i agree with the the cop there i agree with the police officer that you know he wasn't targeting any race specifically i want to hear your opinion on this i've been already the anti-social dragon I will see you in the next episode. Stay anti-social.